Eric Cantu, the 17-year-old boy who was shot by a San Antonio police officer in the parking lot of a McDonald's, is back home after spending nearly two painstaking months in the hospital, his family announced. Cantu was placed on life support after the October 2 shooting, in which he was shot multiple times by officer James Brennand, and was fighting for his life in the subsequent weeks, his attorney Brian Powers, previously said. Kanchuoko's parents issued a statement Wednesday saying he was released from the hospital just in time for the Thanksgiving holiday. Our familiaco's prayers have been answered, and we are incredibly grateful that our son Eric is home with us. Eric still has a long road to recovery ahead of him but, we are overjoyed at his progress in the past two weeks, they said. OC Pound it means the world to us that we can spend Thanksgiving as a family outside of the hospital walls, where we have lived since Eric was horribly injured the statement continued. OC Pound we are thankful for many blessings this week Oko Ericako's strength, everyone who has supported us through Ericako's hospitalization, and the grace of God. Thank you. In the October 2 shooting, Cantu was sitting in a maroon vehicle in the parking lot of a McDonald's when Bren Nand, who was present on an unrelated disturbance call, opened the driver Oko's door and ordered him to get out police have said. Police body camera footage showed Cantu in the driver Ako's seat eating a hamburger and a 17-year-old girl in the passenger seat. He put the car in reverse with the driver Ako's door still open and backed up. Captain Alyssa Campos, the police department Taco's training commander, said in a video statement that the door hit Bren Nand. Bren Nand then opened fire five times as the car reversed, the video showed. He fired five more shots as Cantu drove away. Cantu was found a block away suffering multiple gunshot wounds and was hospitalized, police said. Police said that Bren Nand approached Cantuoko's car because he believed it had evaded him the day before when he tried to conduct a traffic stop. Campos said Bren Nand thought the car was stolen, a claim the family denies. At the time of the shooting, Bren Nand had been on the force for seven months and was still on probation a standard practice for San Antonio officers who graduated from the police academy less than a year ago. He was fired after the shooting, then arrested and charged with two counts of aggravated assault on October 11. He posted bond and was released. Marlene Lenthang is a breaking news reporter for NBC News Digital. Miney Von Burke contributed.